welcome to Miller's Monsters, and uh, with uh, the new Evil Dead movie coming out, Evil Dead Rise, all you deadites, let's get together and make this the best movie of 2003 um, that I can't wait for. I'm counting down the days. I wanted to go through and uh, rank the four uh, Evil Dead movies to date, and uh, I'm not including the series in this. Uh, that's... Uh, uh, that is an episode on itself, and, and that I'll do one day as soon as I catch the third season. I haven't seen it yet. Shame on me. I'm a bad deadite. Bad deadite. But uh, we're, we're going to rank the four movies, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, and then the remake of Evil Dead. And, um, man, this is kind of like uh, picking your favorite dog, if you're me. Um, or, you know, if you have four kids, picking your, your, your uh, favorite kid, you love them all. And, uh, my plan is to own them all at some point, but, uh, all right, we're going to try and it, it would be a cop out for me just to come in and say, oh, they're all number one in my book. That's not what I'm here for. So I didn't go about box office success. Uh, purely on the how I enjoyed each one of the movies and um, obviously there's a lot of groundbreaking uh, with this series I mean uh, the camera work in the the first original how they did that flyby camera work you know for the uh, deadites chasing people down that was a classic there was a lot of great camera work in there and uh, you know it created such an iconic character of Ash Williams and made Bruce Campbell and Sam Rini uh, stars. So, you know, you kind of put all that aside. Just and I rewatched all these movies uh, over this weekend, and uh, so here we go. I'm going to rank them right now, and uh, hopefully, uh, I don't upset too many people. But hey, it's my opinion, and it's my show, and uh, I hope you guys still like it. But before I do, take a moment, ring the bell, hit the subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and uh, tell your friends about me. Have them watch and follow, and send your comments, and set yourself up for notifications so you don't miss another ranking. Top 5, uh, my uh, cryptid descriptions, urban legends, and uh, whatever else I can think of as time goes on here. And I'm always welcome to your suggestions. So here we go. Ranking of the Evil Dead movies. one or Four through one. And at number four. And this may be a shocker. And it was kind of shocker to me too. That I would uh, put this one here. But I'm going to put Evil Dead here. The original movie. The groundbreaking movie that it was. But um, if you watch this movie. Uh, you know the acting is so-so. Um Bruce Campbell is nowhere near the actor he was today. He looked like he was pretty pretty green here, and his character was uh, uh, pretty timid in this movie. And uh, I'll tell you the synopsis of this, and it's the synopsis for the other three movies. And uh, basically, a group goes to an isolated cabin. In some way, shape, or form, they, ch uh, they uh, have someone chants... A passage out of the Book of the Dead, or the Necro Necrocomicon, or Comic Con, or Necrocomicon, com com I can't even say it right now, forget it, you know, the Book of the Dead, the one, the book with the flesh and the face. Oh my god, this is going to be fun. Anyways, and then all hell breaks loose, and I'm not going to explain the whole, whole movie, but uh, that's your synopsis for three uh, out of the four movies, and uh, like I said, the acting was okay. Bruce Campbell's timid in this movie. Um, you know, the story's great. The The film is is great. And there's a good amount of gore in here. And uh, uh, the monster character characters are uh, fantastic in this one. But, uh, you know, most people would put it at number one just for that reason. But uh, I enjoyed the film. But I enjoyed the other ones better. What can I say? Uh, at number three, and uh, th this was a tough one. Again, they're all tough. Like I said, they're all good movies. Don't get me wrong. A plus, own them. You should own them. You should definitely watch them. But uh, I'm going to put Army of Darkness 
in here and uh and now i know everybody's going into shock now but <laughs> the reason i put army of darkness here is this is where they went more full-blown comedy than horror yeah it's a great horror background again the story's fantastic bruce campbell is marvelous in this movie but uh i think they leaned a little too much on on the comedy on this one it wasn't as good of a blend of the horror and the comedy as coming up in in the one other movie and uh, uh this movie man great memories about this movie bruce campbell's slapstick is on point and fantastic uh as always and uh it, it kind of went as far to get as a little bit cartoonish um, you know, he even, you know, did, they were poking him in the eyes and he did this, you know, to stop him from poking him in the eyes. And then they came in with one finger each. Funny as heck, but, uh, you know, a little too cartoonish maybe in the end. But uh, a lot of great, great lines came out of this movie. Give me some sugar, which I still use every now and then to no avail. It doesn't work for me. It works for Ash, but it doesn't work for me. Uh, Hail to the king. Uh, you know, and, and we get familiar with the boomstick, and then he uh, finally modifies that chainsaw uh, hand of his. So, again, good movie. That's number three. And at number two, and if you've seen Know the Series, you know which two are left. And uh, I'm going at number two with the Evil Dead remake. And, uh, again, I watched all these over the weekend, and... and this really changed over the weekend because uh, even though it, it is a remake of the original, uh, the gore and the, the violence in here uh, is what they focused on. Uh, it's more one-sided. They left out the comedy. And, uh, man, it was a gruesome film to watch. Um, you know, it runs along the same storyline. A bunch of people, for a different circumstance, ends up in our evil cabin and uh someone chants reads the incantation out of the book and and the dead come to life but uh man the uh the the violence in this there's the gore that it reminds me of the old uh japanese movies i used to, I, I not used to watch i still watch the j-horror with the tankers of fake blood spewing all over the place monster effects are are fantastic in this and uh the final girl uh turns out be both uh the antagonist and the final girl in this film and uh i thought it was really uh really great and uh i enjoyed the gore and violence and i tend to lean towards that a little bit i guess but uh number two so let's recap it's been a few minutes let's recap the people that where we're at so far uh, number four, we had the original Evil Dead. Number three, we had Army of Darkness. And at number two, we had the remake of the Evil Dead. And uh, at number one, obviously, there's only one movie left, Evil Dead 2. And this is perfection. Okay, this is a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, 100%, however you want to rank it. This is the perfect blend of horror and comedy. And this is Bruce Campbell's greatest performance uh, I would say of all time, um, they're all great, but his greatest performance in this, in this series, um, the way he blends and he's carrying the film for, through the first, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes of it. It's, it's him and his girlfriend get to the cabin and almost immediately she's possessed and, uh, all, you know, all hell is breaking loose and he loose and he's there battling uh you know the spirits and and, <laughs> and a lot of times himself um and he just portrays it perfectly um between insanity and sanity the being the hero and and you know being uh the victim and uh this is bruce campbell coming into his home in his own and uh it's not the bruce the timid bruce campbell from evil dead one uh, it's a more sure of himself, uh, Bruce Campbell. And uh, face it, um, I'm glad they decided to do the movie all over again. Because uh, without that, uh, this classic uh, wouldn't be uh, number one on my list here right now. And uh, God, it spawned. It's spawning another sequel. It spawned a video game. 
it spawned a series. Yeah, I know. Something's going on out there. It's either something wanting out or, worse yet, something wanting to get in. I got that from uh, Big Bang Theory. So, <laughs> keep up with me, folks. The, the movie TV references is always in there somewhere. But uh, what was I talking about, Luna? Ah, back back to the to the series. Uh, Spawn Dash vs. Evil Dead, which is fantastic. And um, who knows where it goes from here. It has its, re its new uh, reboot. Uh, Bruce Campbell, Sam Rini, they're both heavily involved in it. I have high hopes for this. And uh, when it comes out, uh, I'll put it in my list somewhere. Um, who knows? This may take over the number one spot. But I don't know if any movie can without Ash Williams in it. So... I hope you liked what you heard. Ring the bell, hit subscribe, hit like. Set yourself up for notifications so you don't miss another episode where Luna hides in the corner. Come on, get some camera time. Come here. There she is. There's Luna. And I know you're watching it just for her. And you just put up with me mumbling back in here in the background. Now you won't miss another episode if you set yourself up for notifications. Tell your friends. I would love to see them. Have them follow me and send me comments. I take requests. I'll talk to you later.